How to control your cell phone use. It's easy to let your life be consumed by a cell phone. People use their phones for pretty much everything these days, which can result in you feeling like you're shackled to technology. There are many ways to lessen the use of your phone. Setting your phone aside for certain hours of the day, and limiting using your phone for things like an alarm clock, can help. If you have children or teens, set clear rules about when and how they can use their phones. If you're worried about data, you can make a variety of small tweaks to your cell phone usage. Limiting your time on your phone. Monitor how often you're using your phone. The first step to reducing your cell phone is being honest with yourself about how much time you spend on your phone. Once you get a sense of how often you're on your phone, you can decide how much you want to cut back. You can monitor your cell phone usage by tracking your time manually in a small notebook. You can also use a phone app to see how often you're on your phone. Apps like Quality Time and Moment can be used to monitor your phone usage. They will tell you how much time you spent using your cell phone on any given day. Once you get a sense of how much you use your phone, decide how much you want to cut back. For example, say you use your phone for 3 hours a day and want to cut that in half. You can strive for only 90 minutes of phone usage in the coming days. Turn off notifications. Many phone apps come with notifications, which can tempt you into getting lost in your phone. For example, you may receive a notification every time someone interacts with you on Facebook or likes one of your tweets. This will cause you to check these websites, which could result in mindless browsing. Most new apps ask you if you want to allow notifications when you first install them. You should get into the habit of saying no on your existing apps, turn off notifications. It will be easier to avoid checking Facebook if you don't get a notification telling you there's a new message in your inbox. Use a real alarm clock over your phone. Many people use their phones as an alarm clock. This can lead you to check your Facebook, email, and other websites first thing in the morning. To lessen this temptation, opt to use an actual alarm clock. This way, your phone will not be the first thing you reach for in the morning. Work on removing your phone from your bedroom altogether. This way, you'll have a phone-free space in your home. This also may help with your sleep, as the light from cell phone screens can interfere with your sleep cycle. Block time to respond to messages. The fact is, phones are necessary. You cannot stop using a cell phone altogether, especially if you rely on one for your work. Try to schedule time to return things like emails and text messages. This way, you won't be tethered to your cell phone on and off all day and you will also make sure you return messages in a timely fashion. It's important to find a time that works for you. Look at gaps in your schedule where you have free time or downtime at work. You can, for example, set aside an hour each morning after breakfast to return messages on your phone. Turn your phone off during certain hours each day. It's important to have some time when your phone is off altogether. It can be very tempting to grab your phone and get on Facebook if your phone is right there. Have a set time each day when you power down your phone and disconnect. It can be particularly helpful to do this right before bed. This will help you disengage and unwind for sleep. Designate a low traffic room for the charging station. Instead of charging your phone in whatever room you are in, you might try charging it in a room that is not used very often. For example, you could designate your home office as the charging station instead of the kitchen or living room. This will provide some hands-off time for you while your phone charges.